All right, guys, this is going to be a little recording, a little review over a ADW launcher. Um, just kind of show you some things you can do on it. So first of all, here's your launcher. Um, it's like default uh, information here. So, um, yep, that's basically your default screen, or not default screen, default uh, theme. That's what I'm trying to say. Default theme. This is your default theme. So, pretty nice, um, but let me show you some other stuff in here. So, we're going to go into settings. So, right here we got ADW settings. All right, so we can go to the top here, and um, we can do lots of things here. We can hide your status bar. Um, we can allow the wallpaper to scroll as you scroll. Um, hide icon labels, columns, rows on your desktop, how many you want. Um, we do adjust the desktop scrolling speed, so there's some different features you got there. Uh, most of them explain what they are, makes it pretty easy. App drawer, you can see, look at here, we can go, you can do your ad, uh, vertical scoring, scrolling or horizontal scrolling. So, you know, this is, you know, your vertical, but if you wanted to scroll the other direction, then uh, you can adjust that in your app drawer, it's for your app drawer. So you got that, um, again, same thing, app drawer information, you got your uh, columns, landscaping uh, there, and row landscape. Um, uh, let's see here, what else do we got? Background colors in your, in your app drawer, you can hit this and you can adjust wherever you want on here with that slider or just by putting your finger over the color you like. Um, so you can adjust your background in there. See what else we have. Uh, general. Um, here you got the cl closing folder, so it'll automatically close a folder after you s select uh, uh, an item in there, which I'll show you that back on home screen in a little bit. Um, so swipe down actions and swipe up actions. Uh, swipe down right now. I have set to open close notification bar. So if you do a quick swipe down. It uh, when you're on your on your home on your main screens, not in an app, it'll uh, open your notification bar for you, like that. So that's what those do. You can select stuff for swipe up actions too, um, if you want different things there. Font size, you can adjust that. Let's see what else we got here. System. Um, System persistent, you can uh, hit that and it keeps your launcher in in your system memory so that it doesn't kill it out. Um, it says dangerous, but uh, it'll, it'll help uh, help it from uh, getting shut down by you know random app shutting it down. Um, home orientation, so this one it'll sense whichever way your phone's tipped or for horizontal or vertical. It'll just automatically sense it, but if you get tired of that and you don't like that, you can just pick, you know, portrait or landscape, and it'll just always stay in that unless you change it. So, it's options there. Uh, System IU, this is where you have a lot of nice settings. Um, for example, up here you got your main dock. You can pick if you want five icons, five, five icons on the bottom, one, three, or even none, and just have a really big desktop. So that's pretty sweet. I use that a lot. Um, let's see what else we got here. This one right here, hidden dock. Okay. If you swipe down, I think it's down on your dock bar. Another dock bar comes up, and all your dock, the dock that you had there, kind of disappears, and it gets annoying for me. If you guys like it, you can use it. But I just disable that so that that dock bar just stays there, and I can't accidentally swipe it and hit it and make it. You know, move an icon off it and that kind of thing. It just, it gets annoying. So, but if you want to do it, you can swipe down and have another dock bar there. And then swipe down again and it comes back to the original dock bar. So, you got those features. Um, trash can position. Top, bottom. Different things there. Um, the last thing I like to show you on this is the themes, which is my favorite. I've already downloaded some so we can select them. I'm going to try ice cream sandwich theme here. And I'm going to apply that.
there you go. So there you go. Quick little thing. Now you got ice cream sandwich looking theme on there. It's pretty cool. I'll show you another one. Uh, theme. Here we're going to try uh, Ubuntu. Apply that one. There you go. Now it's like an Ubuntu theme. Some of the icons are changing. You can see the gallery, your phone app. Your, your market looks like a box now. It's kind of cool. Download box. If you've ever used Linux Ubuntu. Um, let's try a couple more here. Just because I think the themes are really what makes this thing kind of cool. Um, we'll try, uh, let's try this one. This Mac OS theme. Apply that one. All right, there you go. A little different. So, pretty cool though. Pretty cool. Um, all right, so let's try one more. So you guys can really get to look at these things. I think because you can really change the look of your your phone with these themes uh, through AD, ADW Launcher. So let's try a honeycomb really quick. All right, there we go. Now we're on honeycomb. So, I think it's pretty sweet. Uh, you can really, like I say, you can really change the look of your phone, um, do some different things with it. So, there you go. That's pretty much uh, ADW launcher. Um, most of the settings that I've seen. I, I really like this launcher. Like I say, the theming's really cool. Just, just so you can change your phone so much. So, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching.